to this UWA Study Smarter video all about writing clearly and concisely in crime and society at UWA. I'm Siri Barrett Leonard. I work with the Study Smarter team at the University of Western Australia and we've designed this as the first of three videos on this topic. Here we'll look at writing clear sentences. Pause the video whenever you like. We'll start with the basics of clear simple sentences then look at how to vary what we write. To write a clear sentence, first indicate the subject early on. The subject tells readers who or what this sentence is about. Second, follow this subject swiftly with a complete verb. Verbs are doing or being words. Complete verbs show past, present, or future time by changing their form. Third, if you need one, place an object straight after the verb. Objects tell readers who or what the verb is affecting. Keep these three elements close together and choose strong, dynamic, active verbs where you can. These three elements make an independent clause which can form a simple sentence. You can expand simple sentences by adding more words to the subject, verb, or object, making the subject more precise, and changing the verb form if you need to. or qualifying your object, narrowing its scope like this. These techniques help you flesh out your ideas and make your writing more interesting to read. You can also make your ideas clearer by telling the reader how, when and where events are taking place. Ideally, add this information around clauses. You can put some of it, for example, before the subject and some of it after the object as well. But for clear writing, there are two things to avoid. One is overloading sentence beginnings like this. When we overload sentence beginnings, it taxes our reader's memory and makes our writing less clear. Secondly, we need to avoid putting a lot of detail in the middle of clauses like this. Putting a lot of extra information in the middle can make sentences difficult to read. So for clear, long sentences, keep subjects, verbs, and objects close together and avoid overloading the beginning or the middle of sentences. So far we've been looking at simple sentences and how to vary them. Simple sentences have one independent clause and express one main idea. You can also vary your writing by creating compound sentences. These combine more than one main idea. Let's look at two different ways to join these ideas. One way is to use semicolons. Semicolons work especially well when you use them to join clauses that are similar in structure but have contrasting ideas like this. The second kind of compound sentence uses coordinating conjunctions to join ideas. To remember what coordinating conjunctions are, just think of the word fanboys. Use the first letters of this word to remind you what they are. Coordinating conjunctions express simple relationships between equally important ideas like this. As we've seen, compound sentences add variety to your writing. Another way to vary your sentences is to create complex sentences to express more complex relationships between ideas. There are three main techniques for creating complex sentences. First, you can use subordinating conjunctions to join a subordinate or less important idea to a main idea. If you think of the word sub, it'll remind you of some examples of subordinating conjunctions. Subordinate clauses can come either before or after independent clauses, as in these examples. Second, you can use a relative pronoun like who, which, and that to join related but less important ideas to a main idea. You can put relative clauses early in the sentence as part of the subject or later on as part of the object. And third, you can use a participle to join a partial or incomplete idea to a main idea. Participles often end with ing like these words. You can put participle clauses before or after independent clauses as in these examples. In summary, you can write clear sentences for crime and society if you do all of these things.